What are the limits of a mimic shape change feature? So I am playing a character that has the mimic shape change feature. What are the limits of the things it can become? One of the things I have been doing is turning parts of my body into tools or weapons, creating clothes, or turning myself into a rope to help people out of specific situations. I would like to know the limits to this. Can I create an adamantine fist? Can I use myself as a spell component as long as it is not consumed? Can I create different types of armor on myself? I just want to know some limits of what I can do. Hashtag ask your DM, two ways. Let's start with the obvious, you're into homebrew territory. There's is no default way for a character to get the Mimic's Shape Changer feature, so you're going to have to ask the DM who let you have it. But taking you at your word that you have that feature as it is written, the things you have been doing are outside that feature as written. The relevant line. The Mimic can use its action to polymorph into an object. The word polymorph is the key here, and while not a defined game term per se, it is consistently used to mean transform the shape of the whole entity. See the polymorph spell and numerous other monster abilities. So the whole of you have to be transformed, not just a given limb. The second key word is object, which is a defined game term, just not quite well defined. On page 246 of the Dungeon Master's Guide, the definition can be found. An object is a discrete, inanimate item like a window, door, sword, book, table, chair, or stone, not a building or a vehicle that is composed of many other objects. The obvious addition to the above list is the traditional chest, but the exacts of what is and is not. An object will come down to your DM and likely the exact scenario in question.